Hey there, everybody. This is Potter Brown, and welcome to another blind reaction of My Hero Academia. This time we have Season 5, Episode Number 6, uh, or the 94th episode. Uh, so yeah, we're continuing on with the uh, versus battles, Class A versus Class B. Looking forward to seeing where they go from here. New abilities, the new, uh, new to me, abilities of the characters that we're not too familiar with want to see, as always, what Class B can do. Uh, so if I remember right, it was uh, Yairozu and her team versus some more. There was uh, there was a guy who can travel in shadows and a girl who grows mushrooms. So, uh, yeah, let's just get it started, see what they've got in store for us. Uh, before we get into that, as always, be sure to support the official release. This video here is going to be a watch along. Uh, but, you know, check the description and there will be something there if you don't want to watch along with your own copy of the, of the episode. So, let's just get it started in three, two, one, and go. Yeah, watching this again. Yep, now let's see what the second battle will do. Oh, and there's also a kendo in it as well. Right. I'm familiar with these characters. And there's the... The manga dude. That friggin' scream. <laughs> Dark Fallen Angel. It's a really good move. So yeah, we got a bit of backstory last time for Tokoyami. And Aoyama's uh, attack here is really effective. But I guess we'll, uh, we'll have to see. So yeah, we got backstory, saw what Tokiyami did to, uh, learn from Hawks. Yeah, looking forward to more action. And more answers here, of course. Yeah, he's gotten better with his uh, naval laser stuff.
foresight. All right. So what does it do other than be absolutely fucking disgusting? Release spores for our body to grow mushrooms anywhere in an instant. The more humidity, the further and faster they grow. But what does it do? <laughs> yeah, it's gross, but... Alright, so you can hide in them. Right? When you got two people there who can generate light blasts. Well, one blast, the other one just a flash of light. And the Ayurozu can make something that makes light too, so... Again, I'm just wondering what the fuck do these mushrooms do? Stop being distracted by them if they're just an annoyance. I mean, the only thing that it's hindering is, uh, is her... Okay. He makes sound effects in onomatopoeia and comics materialize. Depending on the sound, he can also add various effects. That's interesting. So it becomes a physical presence. Used correctly, that's a powerful quirk. Yeah, the only thing you're preventing is her from being invisible with those mushrooms. Complimentary. They've definitely worked that out. Alright, so they're separated now. Yeah, separating her from everyone is uh, is a good strategy. That's a powerful fist.
Well, depending on what she creates, if she just keeps making shields. Yeah, but she's gotten better from that. He would know. And you were right. Kendo's not the only quick thinker. I mean, this girl outsmarted if you're going by strategy to try to be her, you think you're not giving her a chance to think. This is a girl who outsmarted a person whose quirk is literally IQ. Yep. Well said. Yeah. <laughs> Buying time, naturally. She wasn't Can't believe that, still can't believe that's his name. Yeah, that is a pretty useful quirk. This is a powerful dude. So long as he doesn't get a sore throat. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, that's kind of a go-to for her. I guarantee the ammo isn't, you know, deadly.
What did you fire? Here goes his lucky bag. All right. So you know what that means. What's his deal right now? He was acting weird. Thermal goggles. Goggles and ethanol. Will it kill the fungus, huh? Yeah, this is a tricky one to fight, isn't it? And now you can't grow mushrooms on her. Those are some fancy goggles. So I'm wondering if he was just that uh, dark guy who was just putting up a front to uh to class A and is willing to show more of uh his own actual personality to friends people he trusts It's a good trap. All right. And Momo's got Kendo. Oh, well, they've turned the tables.
Well, I knew that Class A, uh, I knew it wouldn't be a, a clean sweep, but Yeah, they sure didn't make it easy for for Class B team. <laughs> He'll never stop. All right, yeah, I mean, I knew that team, uh, that Class A wouldn't, you know, just sweep through and win every match. Obviously, that would be a little too much, wouldn't it? But the fact that they didn't capture one of them enough to throw him in the jail. And Tokiyami captured two of them. And if that uh, mushroom girl didn't pull that trump card out, he would have tossed him in the jail. But yeah, that was a uh, that was a good fight. And now, as gross as mushrooms are, it would have just been a min a minor annoyance when growing on your skin. Yeah, they're disgusting. But only to eat them. I don't mind, like, handling a mushroom. To, like, uh, stop that before the preview started. Uh, I don't mind, like, handling mushrooms or anything, but I fucking won't eat those goddamn things. But yeah, sending it down the windpipe and into the lungs, that's, uh, yeah, that's potentially very lethal. And, uh, I would not appreciate that at all. Now, I know it says that, you know, it'll clear up after a couple hours or so. Can you, you know, get rid of it beforehand? Because a couple hours in a constant state of... Suffocation is in a constant like state of partial suffocation. That is, yeah, that's that's pretty brutal. Uh, anyway, so that was the second battle, Class B one. It was interesting. I was I was kind of thinking that Class A would win a couple first, but. And then Class B would have to take one, obviously, is, is how it goes. Because, yeah, like I had said, if Class A just swept through and won all the matches, no matter how hard fought it was, it's, it's kind of, yeah, you can't do that. You can't make Class A infallible. Yeah. 
And this fight was a little more even because it was four on four as opposed to four against five. So, <clears throat> anyway. Uh, so, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. But I'm going to end this one here. Until next time. Take care.